Hey everyone, my name is Visibility, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a glowing orb in Blender. Now, as you can see, the one I made is on my wallpaper right now, and I just like having my renders as my wallpaper, and it's just a personal preference of mine. But that's basically what we're going to be making today, something like this. So, first thing is going to be to open Blender, obviously. Now, I'm using Blender 2.8 for this, but since I'm using Cycles, it should be the same for the older versions of Blender. Uh, the reason I'm not using the new EV engine is I found that uh, the lighting is really weird with that engine, and I don't really like using EV for uh, kind of realistic renders. So as you create a new file um, in Blender 2.0, I just click General. It should just create a new file in a uh, regular Blender. But once you're here, you'll have this default cube. Okay, now default cube. Mm, no, we're we're gonna delete it. <coughs> so what we're gonna do is hit X on this and delete it. And now we have this empty kind of plane here, and we're going to shift A, mesh, and add a plane. Okay, so now we have this little plane here. Alright, and so we're going to scale it up like this. And the first thing we're going to do, which is actually pretty weird, is we're going to texture the plane. And I have a reason for doing this, especially in this project. Uh, so, split your view. Um, Blender 2.7, you'll have three lines right here, but in Blender 2.9, just go over here where you see a cross and just like split it. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Okay. So now we have these two uh, more views. Change this to Shader Editor, and in this one, uh, it'll also be Node Editor in 2.79 or older. So now we have this. Make sure your plane is selected in this window. Click New. And now you have. Uh, this in Blender, two, if you're pl if you're using a version before Blender, Blender 2.7, if you're using a version before Blender 2.8, you'll have a diffuse shader instead of a principled. Now they're basically gonna work the same, but I would recommend deleting the diffuse and adding a principled. But it's just it gives you more control. You have all these options with principled, and it's just better. So what we're gonna do is we're going to if you haven't already, if you don't have Node Wrangler, and just go up here in the preferences, it'll be in fi that uh, setting will be a file if you're in before Blender 2.8. So then just go to Add-ons and search Node Wrangler, and then check it and save preferences. Basically, what that's gonna do is when you click on Principled or Diffuse, uh, Control T will bring up this menu. Now this is your texture kind of menu. So what we're gonna do is we are going to UV unwrap this plane and I'll do that going to edit mode by pressing tab on your keyboard and hitting U and then click unwrap and then you can exit out of edit mode and once you're back over here in our shader editor or another editor <coughs> we're going to open a texture so just go I'll link all the textures that I use in the description there's this really cool site actually I'm actually going to show you guys this right now there's this really cool site um and it's called CC Zero Textures. It is a completely free uh, uh, public domain PBR textures. It has over 400 textures to use from, and they're really good textures. They're really high quality textures. Uh, the texture that we're going to use today, I believe, is this one. I believe it's this one. I'll leave the link up to it in the description below if you guys want to download it or you can use any other textures you want. That's just the texture we're going to use in this tutorial. So I have mine located in my textures folder and uh, tiles. And <coughs> you're going to want to, if you download it from CC0 Textures, uh, color will be your albedo texture. And so now once we have this, if we uh, go into render view, oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, you're gonna want to switch the render engine to cycles, and then uh, anything before that will be up here. So just go ahead and do that. Now we see we have a texture. Okay. Now the texture is pretty big. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scale that down, but not before we add our normal map or bump map. They're basically the same thing, just a little bit different nodes. So we're gonna duplicate our uh, texture by clicking shift D while having it selected. Now we're gonna go ahead and open our normal map which is going to be tile 17 or whatever texture underscore NRM and if you have a separate normal map then you can use that. This is the one that's used for the texture and what it does is it basically gives the illusion of having like bump on it 
and it's higher quality than a bump map, and it gives the illusion that there's actual like height in the texture when there's really not. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab UV over here on a texture coordinate, and we're gonna grab it and put it into vector, and we're gonna click Shift A, search, and normal map. Make sure you don't click normal. Make sure you click normal map. Otherwise, it'll be a completely different node. So we're just gonna put this here. Drag color from our normal texture into color on the normal map. Oops. And then drag the normal from the normal map into the normal on the principal shader. So now, once we have that, let's see what it looks like right now. Okay. As you can see, especially right here, you can see that it kind of has um, a little, it looks a little bit raised. And that's basically what we want with this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to resize the plane. Let me see what a good size would be. Yeah, that should be a good size. So just resize the plane a little bit until you get um, something that looks good. It's basically personal preference how big you want your tiles to be. But also, I forgot to mention the strength I have on my normal mat right now is 9.5. I might adjust that later, actually. But what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate the plane by clicking Shift D again and just aligning them in this kind of like quad formation. Now, the reason we're doing this is obviously I had to shrink the uh, original plane, which gave us less of an area to work with. So I'm just going to enlarge a little bit. So now, if I click Rendered, we have this up here, and it, it, it looks better. So, also I forgot uh, to switch to rendered and solid and everything. Uh, just click Z. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, you probably already figured that out by now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to Shift A, add a mesh, and add a UV sphere. Okay. So we have our UV sphere, right? Obviously, it looks pretty blocky right now. We don't want that. Okay. So we're gonna go over here to this little wrench. It's the same for uh, 2.79. Add a modifier and add a subdivision service. Now that that uh, cleans it up a little bit. You can also subdivide it more. Whatever. Uh, so now we have our circle and go into object and shade smooth. So now we have a uh, smooth circle. So just go ahead and scale that down a lot and kind of put that somewhere let me see how that would look yeah just align that basically anywhere you want it and that is going to be our uh, orb okay so once we have our little orb what I'm going to do actually is I forgot what texture <laughs> I'm supposed to put on the orb so I'm just gonna go on my textures and okay so it's the preview no, it's the one texture. Okay. Uh, I just downloaded that off of Google. I'll leave it in the description too if you guys want to download it. Or you could use your own texture. It doesn't even have to be a blue orb. Just get a, something that looks mystical and orby, I guess. Um, just go ahead and get uh, like an orb texture. And it's basically the same exact steps. You guys can use your own textures. This is just a tutorial on how to make it. So once we have our orb right here, we're going to click new in our shader editor. This time we're going to have a principal BSDF. We're not going to want that, so we're just going to delete that. Shift A, add an emission shader. Okay? Emission's going to go on the surface, and we're going to make sure this is selected by just clicking on it. And Control T, and add our textures and stuff again. Also, hit Tab in this sphere, U, unwrap it. Um, then what we're going to want to do is we're going to open that orb texture that I just, uh, that I just did. We're going to open that, and basically what that does now is it gives off this kind of glow. Now, what I'm going to do, actually, is you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm just going to rotate it. Yeah, just something. <sighs> yeah, that looks pretty good. Just align the texture how you, how you guys want it. Um, and now, actually, what I'm going to do to see the full extent of the emission is I'm going to go back into solid mode. And this light right here, I'm going to completely delete that. And 
over here, just go into world, which is a little globe icon, and you should see this color right now. It's set as gray. What we're gonna do is just set that completely black. So now, if we go back into rendered mode, we should see we have this glowing. Okay. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna turn the strength up to about six. So now we have this like glowing kind of vibe to it. Oh, I forgot. What if we... Alright, we're not gonna do that. We're not... Never mind. Never mind. Just disregard what I said altogether. Okay. Alright, so now that we have our, uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 we're good guys, we're good, we're good. Okay, so basically once we have our uh, material applied to this thing, what we're going to do is we're going to actually change back to this. And we're going to turn the roughness down. Okay. We're going to turn the roughness down. So now we have this. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now that we have this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop back into render mode or solid mode. Uh, deselect everything by double tapping A. Come over here. We're going to just put our three D cursor over here for easy sakes. We're going to shift A mesh, add a cylinder. And go down here to add cylinder and vertices. Just turn that down to about 11. And just size that down to about that. And then and just scale it down. And we can see if that matches with our orb here in a second by doing this. Alright. Alright, and then we're gonna duplicate it, scale it up, we'll uh, bring it up, and then scale it down, like that. And just scale it up on the blue line, I guess that's what it's called. That's not what it's called, but it's just what I call it. Okay, so now we have this little stand. And we're just going to move our orb a little bit until it's centered on it, which it is. And so now, if we, nope, not there. If we go into rendered, we can see we now have this little stand on our orb, which looks pretty cool. So what we're going to do then is we are going to add textures to these, which we're just going to do by the pretty much exact same thing we did to the, um, plane by just control ting on this uh tabbing uv unwrapping it same with this bottom one actually unwrap it while you're here um open up your uh textures 
right now I have uh, a metal texture applied on it. You can use any texture again, but I'm just gonna use this metal one, uh, which I'll link in the description. Um, and it's going to basically give this like shine to it, which I kind of like. And I'm gonna shift D this, add a normal map to it. Add a normal map to it. Then add a normal map node. Oops. Add a normal map node. Bring this over here a little bit. Okay. Color goes into the color on the normal map. Normal goes into normal. UV goes into vector on the image texture. Okay, so now if we go right here, we should be able to see that it kind of has this. Actually, let me turn the metallic all the way up. Yeah, we kind of have we kind of have this reflective kind of glow off of it now, which I think is pretty cool. Let me actually turn this up to like six. Yeah, so we kind of have this like metallic kind of glow on it now, which I really like. And down here, material is a zero three, so we're just gonna go and add material zero three to this. So now we should see, yeah, it has this like really cool kind of like metallic kind of thing on it. Which I think is pretty cool. So now, basically, you could stop right here, but uh, if we go in my uh, kind of reference image, you can see we have these like little orbs that are just like on the ground, which I really like. So what we're gonna do there is we're going to just shift D this original one and scale it down really small. And then just position those on the floor. Actually, this might be a good time to choose where you want your camera to be. So just find where you want angle and then control alt zero. That's actually pretty bad for a camera angle. So what I'm going to do, which I find easier, is hit N in your scene and lock camera to view. So that way you can just do this. Oops. And yeah. Actually, I'm going to position it down a little bit since you can kind of see the overlapping part of the texture on that. So, yeah, that actually re looks really good. So, oops. Oh, no. What have I done? Yeah, that looks really good. So now I'm going to unlock the camera from the view. Oops. Unlock the camera. And if we scroll down and we get our circle. Wait. Sphere zero one. And just shift D this. And just position them wherever you want. I'd recommend them behind the orb just so it looks like there's actually stuff in the distance. Just adds a whole lot of stuff to the scene. It, it doesn't seem like it does, but it, it does. So now, if we render it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to change the specular. On this change roughness back up a little bit all right so actually I'm gonna move these over since they're not in camera view so we're just gonna pop these over here all right all right just a few more finishing touches by just keep adding these orbs in different places and yeah uh, that's basically it that's basically the tutorial uh, I will render this out and show you guys what it looks like as it, uh, when it's rendered but yeah make sure everything's on cycles I'd render it with about 400 samples maybe uh, we'll see if that's enough later uh, if it's not enough, just always just crank it up a little bit. Uh, don't go with too ham with it, otherwise it could like greatly increase your render times. But just usually with simple scenes like this, I go 400 to 700. But if you have like more intense scenes with more intense lights and everything, lighting is one of the main things that uh, kind of produce fireflies, which is those like noise things that you see with it. Uh, also, you could try uh, 
uh, denoising, which I wouldn't use unless you have to. Um, a few things you could do is clamping. Uh, indirect, you could increase that, or you could just increase your samples. If those do not work, then you can use uh, denoising, and it works a lot uh, by just re removing noise in dark places. But anyway, I'm gonna start. Ba I'm gonna stop babbling, and I'm gonna render this out and show you guys what it looks like after. So guys, this is the finished render. Uh, it took about four minutes to render, and I'm actually extremely proud of this. I didn't. Okay, so. <laughs> Funny enough, this actually turned out better than my original render before the tutorial, which I actually didn't expect. Now, uh, right here you can see uh, how the tiles kind of come up, and that's the normal map. You can also see it kind of looks bumpy, especially right here. Uh, I actually really like how the light kind of bounces off these tiles and gives it a glossy look. I actually really like that. I think it's kind of cool. So, guys... That's going to be the tutorial, uh, feel free to mess around, do whatever you want with this, uh, and I would love to see, uh, what you make in the comments, just link it in your page or something to it, but anyways guys, that's the tutorial, this is my only, this is only my second tutorial, don't, don't give, don't be too hard on me, I know I messed up a lot, but hopefully it was easy enough to follow, and if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below, but guys, as always, my name is Visibility, I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.